press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello my dear students, hope you people are doing good. Okay, so after a long time we are meeting again with a new chapter that is Law and Social Justice. Just before a few days we will discuss about another chapter relating to this, right? So yes. Now, when it comes to law, we have already discussed many a times about how law is important, why it is important, what is the necessary, okay, why, and what is the necessity for making these kind of laws and all, we have already discussed. So, today let us know much more things about few of the acts that has come, okay, apart from that, how? the laws are implemented okay why it becomes very much necessary to bring upon new laws okay let us know about those things uh, in this particular chapter so if at all uh, we ask you why laws are necessary so this i have been asking uh, with most of the chapters right yes so when it comes to why we need laws um, see what happens without any laws without any rules and regulations people will do whatever they want so there has to be certain restriction, right? So the restriction that has been put, okay, that itself can be considered as law. Okay, law has to be there to uh, for the governance, okay, to bring to uh, bring a, a correct way of ruling in a particular nation. You need laws. Okay, yes. So when it comes to this particular chapter, we'll be learning so many things here. Very first is, why do we need a law or why is it necessary that law and social justice is very much important? So when it comes to social justice, we have always come across the differentiation, right? You might have heard about, yes, uh, the person got uh, justice, so the other person did not get because he, though he was denied, he might have not got the justice. Now the justice depends upon the evidences, right? Yes, so if at all you have, or sometimes what happens, Nowadays, what we are seeing is that, or you might have heard every now and then, right? People do put false allegations just for the sake of money and all, right? Yes. At that particular time, you will get the justice and all that is there. Few people, though they are very good, but because of uh, some other person's status, okay? Like uh, maybe the person is very rich, that's the reason he might have uh, paid the amount there, etc., etc. So all those things you keep hearing, right? So that's the reason to bring equality, okay equality justice every person has to get the justice so all those things are being mentioned so let us know about this particular thing in detail see to protect people from getting exploited so what happens it is see people do or people face many of the exploitation it because of the situation they are in now you see uh, there's a pandemic right so getting job is also difficult but getting even the raise, hike, hike in your salary is also very difficult because people, the uh, employers have got the chance now, right? They have got a chance saying that they'll not pay any amount and all, right? Or like they'll not give any hike and all. No doubt, you're getting your basic salary, your salary is coming to your account and all, that is okay. But you needed a hike, right? But because of the pandemic, you're not getting. And few of the people, they have lost their jobs because of this itself. So that's the reason it, go, it becomes very difficult, right? So people, they undergo most, many of the time they face exploitation, okay? They get exploited. So you might have uh, heard about the story that is a story of a shirt that too in your class 7th. Uh, hope you people remember it. If not, please go through the textbook. Even online you can get it. Okay, so here there they saw the market, right? See, what happens? Now a product, okay, that has been produced, okay, like the product has come into existence, that has to reach the market, right? Once it reaches the market, then people, uh, like, uh, people uh, start, uh, like, uh, bargaining, okay, it's not people's, okay, like, people do start uh, bargaining, and they buy certain things. <coughs> now, while they are buying, they should be very very cautious right because there are chances that they get exploited the very less product might be sold at a larger price at a very huge amount just for the sake of profit so enough 
there are many factories, there are many companies that have set up, that have come into existence. So with what motive they have come into existence? Just with the motive of earning profit, making profit. Profit making itself is the main motto or main motive of these companies and all, right? So you have come across, okay, imagine... Uh, you might have seen uh, a few slum areas and all, right? If, like now you cannot go, but you might have heard people saying that I was in job. Uh, people uh, see I have to go in the morning at uh, 10 o'clock. Then I'll, I have to reach home by like around 7, sometimes even 8. There is no particular uh, or say fixed time and all. You might have heard this. This happens mainly in unorganized sector first thing this unorganized sector okay you might uh, see organized sector is the one wherein they are having a particular uh, kind of everything will be systematic okay they'll be having terms and condition for the employment what time you have to log in what time you'll be logging out okay salary will be fixed everything will be they'll be having a particular agreement to that but when it comes to unorganized sector just uh, for example shops Okay, the small shops wherein people do work as uh, the laborers so there. They, these are unorganized sector. Now it comes in a shops and establishment that is different. The other one is maybe this uh, brick kiln and all. If you go there, they now they have come up with laws for that. That is again uh, the new laws that has, that has come into existence. But yes, now what happens? See, while they are, uh, while they distinguish people, okay, if organized sectors, the, the, it will be fixed to time and all, right? For example, now if you take your school itself, teachers are having the organized way of working, right? They are, ha they are under the employment term, nothing but at a particular time they do come, they finish their classes, then they'll be going home. There, there will be a set of works for them, salary will be paid every month, right? So this is how it goes. Imagine if at all, if at all your school did not have any uh, employment uh, terms and condition. What would be the condition then? Definitely people would face like every now, they had to come early in the morning, at night they would go home, no salary. So all these th problems do arise, especially in the unorganized sector. So when I said about this uh, shirt, okay, a story of a shirt. So what happened, many of the people, either they directly or say indirectly, they got involved in this uh, production of shirt. And see, when people at higher level, they will be getting paid, they will be having their uh, uh, time, okay, they will be having a fixed time and all that is there. How about the laborers, okay, who help them to for packing or maybe just a small and small works they are doing. Will they be having the same uh, facility whatsoever the higher, the higher authorities will be having? No, Th that goes very, that's the reason, law and justice, okay, law certain laws are necessary and even social justice is necessary because every person has to be treated equally if at all the treatment is not equal if they are being uh, uh, differentiated then it goes difficult now you see yes markets everywhere tend to be exploitative of people whether as workers consumers or producers so market Everywhere you can see the exploitation, nothing but one or the other way, one or the other person gets exploited. So when it comes to exploitation, what happens? People do face many problems, okay? Their situation gets exploited. It's, now imagine, what is exploitation exactly? I'll give you an example. Imagine, I do not have any work now, okay? God forbid that should not happen, okay? I do not have any work. I'm in search of job. Okay, it's been uh, some uh, five to six months. I did not get any good job. I am working somewhere, but I am not happy with that. Okay, for my education, it is not the one what uh, I am working uh, for and all. Okay, so I am uh, uh, waiting for a very good job. Now, I get an opportunity wherein uh, they fix the amount of uh, 12 or 15,000, something like that. So now, here I used to earn 3,000. Now, there I'll be earning 15,000. Though, Though, okay, like uh, my education does not fit in there, 
okay and they know that i i do not want to change the place and all i want to stay in this place itself if they get to know they start exploiting nothing but however she will not leave right 15000 kya like give her much more work so that she will do it okay so this is exploitation nothing but your situation gets exploited so this happens many a times with many people which is very wrong okay yes so to protect people from such exploitation we need laws so that's the reason they say to protect people from getting exploited the government has come up with many more laws now these laws ensure that the unfair practice are kept to the minimum so what is this unfair practice what i mean by unfair practice so practice some a certain practice that are unfair in nature something that is not acceptable in nature something that is maybe illegal sometimes maybe it is not it is not fair enough okay something that is not fair enough imagine you make a person let's take this example okay your maid or say servant okay your maid or servant has uh, is in need of money okay the person needs uh, money so they come and ask you people or your parents saying that yes uh, i need money okay now your parents give for the person money and later on make them work everywhere so this is unfair practice nothing but i'm just giving you an example okay don't take it the other way yes so now imagine if a person only because the person has taken money in advance you cannot make the person work more than what their capacity is okay so what people do people do exploit the laborers nothing but they have to work for more hours very less pay okay hours together they have to work all the works other works they have to do all uh, uh, related works they have to do but still they'll be getting very less amount as their salary or as their wage so this is unfair practice okay this is one example for un unfair practice so imagine if any person is pl uh, planning to do this and government comes up with certain laws saying that you have to you should not do it okay now imagine there is a law okay minimum wages act there is a law called uh, like act called minimum wages act so when it comes to this act they have clearly mentioned that whoever is working as a labor okay the person has to get paid so and so as a minimum wage now why this had to come into existence because people were not getting even the basic pay what they are supposed to get okay they were not getting the basic amount paid there that's the reason this act came into existence there are many such laws that has come into existence just for the welfare of the people to make all this unfair practices to the minimum nothing but it has to get reduced so what we people do if at all you people are uh, uh, like wasting your time much more time you are wasting what we people plan for we give lots of homework or what we do we you know conduct surprise test or maybe some test so that you get engaged with your studies right yes in the same way to uh, like stop the unfair practices new laws will be made so then to ensure that workers are not underpaid but are paid fairly so see underpaid it is nothing but um paying less for whatever work they are doing so it usually happens that people do work for hours together they will be working more than their capacity okay capability or capacity not capability let's take capacity more than whatever they can do more than that they will be doing but they will be getting very less payment okay they will be paid very less so to what extent this is correct again for that uh, the government okay they say that no worker should be paid or, like they should not get less payment for whatever work they have done equal pay has to be given so let us take okay like a common market let's know about market here 
okay like um, knowing the market situation is very important so as you all know that uh, yes there are issue of uh, workers issue of wages this happens every now and then that people are not getting uh, good paid okay good amount paid they will not be getting their uh, wages on time or sometimes the wages so, so paid will be less so uh, for each and everything they deduct the amount from the wages so all this uh, problems are uh, faced by these people every now and then so now there are many companies like private companies the contractors the business person or even there are many other person who normally think about profit itself their main motto like motive itself is earning profit they have to be pro uh, they have to be in profit whatever they are giving should be less but whatever they take to their company something that comes inside their company should be more compared to the expenses so to ensure that workers are not underpaid or are paid fairly there is a law on minimum wages as i told you minimum wages act has come into existence so there are laws to protect you know even uh, uh, like interest of producers and consumers in the market it is usually the producers and con consumers they face much more problem here see uh, if at all laws are made now the consumer protection act has come so that earlier we did not have this consumer protection act who is a consumer consumer is a person who consumes the produced goods for himself or for his family okay he just goes and buys it in the market and consumes it so every consumer now imagine you go to a shop you purchase a pa packet of biscuit okay once you get home you open the biscuit packet you see that there are Uh, like a small worms in that or maybe the uh, biscuits are not in good condition you check the expiry it is already expired then what can you take any action against that person who has sold you definitely you can take so for those things they have made provisions here so the government ensures enforceability of these laws so many laws are made okay legislature it is the work of the legislature what happens just like we what we people do to know what exactly you want your class teacher keeps interacting with you people right to know what are the problems you are facing to know whether all the notes are given or no to know what exactly you want all these things your madam your class teacher will be doing so once they get to know what they do they take up all the information and they come to the necessary person and they tell them so and so thing is lacking like you uh, you have to improve or maybe like uh, you have to give these uh, notes to the people uh, students and also all the things they'll be doing in the same way laws okay before they make any laws they always survey okay whether we need any laws for so and so thing whether we have to get a new law is it a necessary okay necessity okay is it a necessity to like should we get it actually is it uh, does will that work good if at all we are getting any of the laws so all those things matters a lot so then what they are telling the government controls activities of individuals to ensure social justice so again that is very much important to ensure social justice nothing but each and every person should be treated equally no person should go empty hand when it comes to the court of law they have to face the justice okay and they have to get they have to feel happy with whatever they have received okay yes so it is it it, it is the, that oh, uh, that is the main reason why you know these laws have come into existence so there are fundamental rights that is rights against exploitation uh, like when it comes to this it can be enforced to work for low wages see rights against exploitation you have a fundamental right okay which says that a right against exploitation nothing but any person who sir is getting exploited okay in any of the workplace definitely they have all the rights to take action against such person this is especially happens when it comes to the wages low wages will be paid though they are working hours together they, though they are working for a longer duration but even then their payment would be very less so there they are getting exploited which is not 
correct. So as with the law on minimum wages, now because of that itself, the Minimum Wage Act has come into existence. So what is this Minimum Wage Act? It tells that at least minimum wage, whatever, it has to be paid to the workers. It has to be paid. Else, they can, they have all the rights to uh, seek for some redress here. Yes. So when it comes to this, to protect the interests of producers and consumers in the market. Now when it comes to worker, consumer, you see, all these three are linked with each other. Worker, consumer and the producer. So all the three are linked and all the three are very much important. All the three are very important. All the three are linked actually. If worker is not there, definitely the producer, how will he produce? How, how will he work? Okay? And if producers are not there, what will the consumers get? Nothing. Right? So that's the reason those three are like wheel. Okay? They are linked with each other and if there are no consumers then who will be uh, consuming it that's the reason all the three are very much important and certain things are based on Gandhian principles so as you all know Gandhi Mahatma Gandhi right he had certain principles on his own so all those principles will be applied here so when it comes to this law and uh, social justice there are few laws that have been mentioned Okay, that is uh, certain acts or laws for the society. What, I, what all laws they have come up with? Very first act is Minimum Wages Act which specifies that wages should not be below a specified minimum. Nothing but a specified amount. Imagine if at all the government has mentioned rupees 100 per day, that should not be less than that. Okay, so the one who is hiring these laborers, they have to pay 100 rupees as the wage per day because the, the, that is the minimum uh, thing what they can pay. And yes, more than that if they want to pay, that is their wish. Okay, yes. So now uh, it is necessary because workers are denied fair wages by their employers because they badly need work. Workers have no bargaining power and are paid low wages. See what happens, every person is in need of money. Every person is in need of job. Without job, no money. So what they do? They have to compromise. Though a person is ready to pay. Now imagine if at all you do not have work for months together and all of a sudden somebody tells you I'll give you a job. You have to work so and so, so and so. Some big list they give and they tell you I'll pay you 10,000. How would you feel? Huh, like okay, let me do this work. The very first thing comes to your mind is money. Right? Though they are giving you thousands of work, first thing will be money that you hear. Uh, all these six months you have spent without having any money, right? So all of a sudden somebody tells like money, that would be music for your ears, right? You would feel okay, something, something you'll be getting out of nothing, right? When you are having nothing, it is something for you people. So you accept. In the same way, there are many uh, workers who uh, work for very less wages because they need work, okay? They do not have any other option for the sake of work. These people agree for all those things. The law is meant to protect the interests of all the workers, particularly farm laborers, construction workers, factory workers, domestic workers, all the workers, okay, at the low level, okay, we call them as workers, right? So those workers, uh, to protect those workers, this act has come into existence. So the next is a law specifying that there, there uh, be adequate uh, safety measures in workplace. For example, alarm system, emergency exit, properly functioning machinery. See, uh, like say there is something called as Factories Act. Okay, Factories Act. Nothing but here in this Factory Act, what they say is how the factory should be. Okay, how the environment should be. Now imagine in the factories you'll be having machines, right? How uh, the machines have to be kept? Should they maintain? Now if at all you have this factory, how the machines have to be kept? Should it be very near? Should that be far? All the distances will be mentioned. Apart from even the height, 
okay height of that particular room if at all any machine that produces more heat then how the uh, uh, like uh, the particular room has to be so there the person will be there certifying officer he will uh, you know special officer we call them so what they do they check all these things so that is the reason you see if at all they say that yes you have to provide a chimney they have to provide it if they say that yes your window has to be of this height this uh, width and all they have to follow it so the factories act has come into existence just for the protection of the factory workers all the things okay the laws related to the factory will be given under this then comes a law requiring that the quality of goods meet a certain prescribed standard so that is uh, see now imagine imagine you are paying the 2000 rupees for a particular shirt or anything and today you did wear tomorrow you want to wash okay you uh, you did wash it you know the like all the colors uh, like uh, it, it did lose its color okay the shirt was blue now it has become white okay and it has lost all that uh, thing which was there earlier have you got a good shirt then for whatever amount you have paid no then what is that you will be doing for that itself certain standards has to be mentioned see you have to think this itself if at all you need good quality of food good quality of clothing okay then definitely you have to spend more on those things this is logic right few people are there who think about the society or people at first so what they do uh, they do the quality is very good they give it at less price so example khadi and all there is they take lot and lot of uh, efforts to get it but yes for the betterment of the nation for the betterment of people what they do they sell it at less price so that is one example now they have to mention the standard nothing but isi mark okay uh, all the electronic goods and all they should have this isi mark and if at all you take all the chips packet and all you can see there okay no doubt register is one particular thing then you can see green red etc green tells you that it is totally wedge red tells you that yes it is non vegetarian food okay and on the food packet itself they have to mention the expiry date okay and to what extent this can, that can be used and all these things how much chemical they have used everything they have to mention so a standard has been kept there okay they have to mention they have to maintain all these things now very uh, like uh, before few days they have come up with uh, a particular law related to sweets and all right those who produce sweets like those who make the sweets and all and the sweet mart and all who so is having though they may not mention when it was prepared but they are supposed to mention the date of expiry so this is the law they have come up with right so the standard nothing but improvisation if there is no standard what happens people may not buy it right people will feel that or they might get fooled right so that's the reason you have to mention like whatever standard they have to keep that has to be mentioned here and for that there are certain laws the next is uh, law requiring that the prices of essential goods are not high so the goods that are essential basic for example uh, the grains okay like crops or uh, grains whatever we eat vegetables fruits okay actually these are not that basic but even then okay milk milk products again if at all milk is uh, costly then milk products also will be very costly right yes uh, but there are certain basic essentials okay basic needs or say essential items which should not be a uh, costing more okay so that is what they have said here so maybe kerosene it was very necessary earlier and now it is gas right uh, like your cylinders and all right yes the next is like maybe food grains and all uh, at reasonable price if you get it's well and good if you are getting it at a higher price then it's of no use the next is the law requiring that factories do not pollute air or water again it comes under factories act like you have to protect the environment environmental law we have okay wherein the environment has to be protected in a right manner the next is the laws against child labor in workplaces do remember this 
the child below the age of 14 years okay we have already discussed this uh, like maybe in uh, constitution while we were dealing with constitution we have already dealt dealt that is uh, no child below the age of 14 years shall be employed to work in any factory or say mines so, so something that is hazardous in nature something that is dangerous in nature uh, at that place uh, the child cannot work as a labor and even article 21a says that the child between 6 to 14 years has to be uh, has to get compulsorily educated so the provisions against uh, exploitation of human being irrespective of gender and sex has to be made nothing but you know like gender or say uh, like uh, irrespective it should be totally equal for each and everything it, you should not consider the gender there okay the next is uh, to make uh, constitutional rights uh, like uh, governments always try to ensure social justice to uphold the fundamental rights so that has to be kept in mind nothing but fundamental rights are very much important okay there are certain fundamental rights that is coming under the protection okay maybe article 21 right to life and personal liberty then article uh, you know like uh, yes article 21 then article 21 uh, a then uh, it comes your uh, uh, this uh, good environment okay like you have to get good environment and all that is included in article 21 so that's the reason to uh, uphold the fundamental rights you need the laws are there then law to form workers unions or association again this comes under labor law wherein if you want to make any union and all okay if you want to form any association union uh, with a union leader and all that can be definitely done so the next is yes so making law is not enough and do you agree with this now imagine the legislature makes laws and keep it uh, like it uh, keeps it for your, uh, itself is that okay will you just agree with that is that be fine will that be fine like yes uh, you do the law and you keep it for yourself no right it won't be it it doesn't go like that so what you have to do or say what they have to do is whatever law they have come up with they have to imply those laws they have to bring those laws into force then only people then only the students will understand what exactly is going on understood so when it comes to this making laws is not enough they have to be implemented just you make the laws and you keep it it's of no use it has to be implemented so that people become aware of everything they should understand that yes there are laws there are strict laws which can catch hold of those people that's the reason laws are very much important right so why laws are necessary laws are important because of these things itself if you do not have a good environment if you do not have good air to breathe in now for example delhi popula like because of the population it is getting polluted right even bangalore so comparatively it is less that is different pune and delhi both are same you have people you have pollution right yes so what measures the state is taking so that is a question so that's the reason laws are very much necessary to protect each and every individual's fundamental rights so when it comes to this yes uh, enforcement becomes very much important when the law seeks to protect the weak from the strong so it is always there that the strong people always dominate the weak right so now imagine if at all uh, this, uh, the person is having a factory and he is just leaving the dirty water into the river without uh, without recycling it without removing all the uh, effluents from that then what happens if at all the person is very strong he doesn't listen to e any person there then can any person uh, talk against him or take any action against him definitely not because what happens they would feel that okay if at all we are uh, questioning him if at all we uh, go and ask him why he is leaving all the effluents in the river without removing it there are chances that they will be dominated totally so this is happening right all the uh, higher end people or say very strong people what they do they dominate the weaker section that is the reason law is very much important so that they can bring each and every person together understood yes so the next is so see uh, yes uh, why laws are important 
so every worker gets fair wages okay that is mean the government has to regularly inspect work sites and punish those who violate the law the fear of losing future earnings see what happens people will be having that fear okay maybe in the future i may lose my earnings so that's the reason what they do they accept or they uh, like uh, work for very low wages because they now imagine one person has offered you 10000 okay now you do not have any job and you accept it because 10000 is something that wherein you are not getting anything this is something for you people right so now when that is happening now you ask for them okay ask them saying that okay uh, you pay me 10000 uh, i'll work now with that what happens they give you some extra works and all okay something you had accepted for something with that they add on certain more things so what happens you are getting exploited there you, they are not paying you for what they had hired and they are giving you much more works compared to the works what they had accepted earlier okay yes so that's the reason what happens uh, this is uh, like considered as exploitation and yes now what happens uh, imagine you won't be able to leave that job because if you leave the job maybe you may not you may not get any other job this would be the first thing you will lose your earning that is there definitely that will be in your mind the second is imagine today you have got some uh, like offer and you might feel that okay if i do not accept this maybe i may not get any new offer maybe you have waited for months together and uh, you might feel that okay if i don't accept it today maybe i i may not get the same earnings for the future that is the reason okay this makes a person accept whatever job he gets at whatever salary so this what uh, this is an undue advan advantage for the those undue advantages will be taken by the employers because they want to exploit the employees what they do they exploit the situation however the person needs job excuse me so cut off his salary or give less salary and make him work more and more so this is wrong next although like you know through making enforcing and upholding these laws the government can control the activities of individual or private companies so as to ensure social justice to ensure social justice so that you know there will there will not be any problem there will not be any fraud done by any person what they do although making okay enforcing and upholding these laws okay if at all those things are important the government can control the activities there okay by laws okay by making laws and implementing the laws what they can do is they can control the individuals not only individuals so those companies those private companies which are having the motive of only earning even they can you know control those people that is the reason what they want is they are enforcing they are making and they are enforcing the laws here so there are certain laws that is right against exploitation as i told you which is again a fundamental right right against exploitation see most of the people they do get exploited because of the uh, situation they are in because of their lifestyle okay because they have the fear that they may not get good job or they may not get good offer or they may feel that okay if at all i don't earn who will take care of uh, the family and all so they get exploited there so as i said right uh, against exploitation that no one can be forced to work for low wages or under bondage the fundamental right tells that but will do we follow it that matters because there is no guarantee right people may not say that okay uh, every now and then they get uh, exploited okay we cannot assure about those things so right against exploitation is nothing but no person can agree to work for a very less wage okay very low wage or say work for more than uh, hours together okay there are certain hours meant for working if at all that is getting extended more then that is uh, that goes difficult so here laws uh, play a very important role okay as you have seen see before they got this uh, child uh, like a uh, uh, a child used to get like uh, labors right child labors you might have seen so nav prohibition of child labor before they could get it in the constitution earlier it was not there but earlier to that 
most of the children they they used to work below the age of 14 years that too in hazardous uh, factories okay like maybe the production of chemicals or even the uh, the crackers okay in those shops and all those factories and all these these people these uh, children used to work and they used to get exploited because see their family would be very big wherein they would not be able to afford for each and everything that is the reason they would come together just for the sake of earning right whatever they would get they would be happy with those things right so that's the reason what happened when uh, these people okay they come uh, together for the sake of uh, like uh, the children they what they used to do they used to come together and, and they used to work now they would not get educated and their situation would be exploited by all these employers to stop that the government came with a particular law that is that itself is called as child labor like uh, child labor uh, you know uh, the prohibition of child labor that particular uh, a particular thing came into existence okay they did add on saying that no child below the age of 14 years should be allowed to work in any of the places especially the hazardous places okay they should not work the second thing is they did make the education very much compulsory below the age, uh, below the age of 14 or say in between the age of 6 to 14 years so that they can work uh, so that they can study they can learn many things and once a person goes to uh, get education okay for himself or herself they will learn many things so that right so that's the reason what happened these people these children okay like they as they were working that particular thing particular law was uh, implemented so that there won't be any child labor okay and people should not make those people work if they do definitely there would be some sanction nothing but there would be some prescribed punishment so that people stop all those things understood yes so my dear students so uh, with this we have finished why laws are necessary as you know that laws are necessary to make the individual work according to the rules and regulations and they should not get exploited anywhere no individual can uh, get exploited and yes the, the laws each and every law has its own importance and own objective so when they are having the own objective for example you see motor vehicles act now if we are told we are talking about motor vehicles act to stop uh, this uh, or uh, the compensation to get the compensation uh, if at all uh, any motor vehicle accident happens okay what kind of vehicles has to run on what kind of roads what kind of uh, vehicles are permit uh, okay permitted if at all they are carrying any of the hazardous uh, chemicals and all how that has to be carried so all these things are mentioned there so each and every act has got its own importance and that gave you uh, that makes the person that makes an individual to work accordingly and when it comes to the yes introduction we did include many things here saying that why laws are important how laws have come into existence nothing but see when it, they what they do they uh, uh, check with the uh, society there will be one or the other problem and they come to they get to know that okay so there are certain practices that are going on we have to stop it the uh, with uh, with that thing in their mind they can come up with new laws then certain acts are laws for the society so this is very much important certain laws are very much important for the society for the betterment of the societies uh, like uh, that's the reason laws are coming into existence as i gave you the example each and every law has got its own importance constitution it is the law of land so it is the main thing on uh, uh, it can be considered as a base or say foundation on which the whole building of law is standing okay so the constitution itself okay apart from that we have many such acts labor law we have negotiable instrument act we have okay like uh, uh, code of uh, yes uh, uh, we have other procedural law uh, this aspects apart from that we have even uh, the laws that is company law we have okay to uh, control these companies so that they should not exploit any person they should give justice to all okay so why this justice is necessary it is necessary because people are getting exploited to stop it somewhere 
justice social justice is very much important so certain acts and their importance like consumer protection act maybe motor vehicles act as i told you okay apart from that there is, there are certain laws you have personal laws again hindu law and mohammedan law okay uh, to uh, for those uh, religious okay religions and all then apart from that uh, universally like uh, sorry comes to uh, laws like whole uh, territory of india it has to accept certain laws then we have even uh, laws related to a particular state like uh, karnataka rent act okay yes apart from that we have any uh, like all these shops and establishment act so there are so many acts but each and every act has got its own importance and yes that has to be respected and it has to be abided by all the people so that the society runs very well okay because every individual has got it now imagine now imagine uh, one person kills another person so again we have to apply certain law there but we have to prove that yes this person has killed so and so person so ipc indian penal code again that law has come into existence right substantive law so when it comes to these things those are very important and acts and laws are very very important okay it 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 uh, you know brings up a restriction on the people or i say or say individual okay that's the reason we need laws okay dear students so there is a famous case that is bhopal gas tragedy case okay which uh, took place in the year 1984 see what happened here uh, there was uh, at night okay this took place at night actually see that's a mnc nothing but multinational company wherein the foreign investors have uh, come and uh, you know they have uh, invested and they have opened this particular company uh, see there is uh, the that is very much important in the case itself is very important because of this case there are certain principles that have come together which i'll be teaching it to you uh, like you know to you people in the next class wherein you'll be learning about absolute liability which is totally related to law but i want you people to know this with because uh, it is totally regarding the law and social justice right that's reason uh, i'll let you know what exactly is absolute liability and why this law has come into existence before to that Uh, we had something called strict liability what exactly is that and you know like certain things related to uh, what is the workers worth like enforcement of safety laws whether that is necessary so all these things will be learning it in the next class thank you so much dear students have a great day enjoy thank you so much